Good evening, Richmond County, and welcome to your Thursday edition of Live at Five. I'm Sarah Minks. Two Ohio men are facing kidnapping charges after what police are calling a beach vacation gone bad. 911 responded to a call around 11 a.m. on Tuesday from a woman saying she's being held against her will, according to the Hamlet Police Department. The woman reportedly said that she was in a Toyota car heading toward Rockingham on the way back to Dayton, Ohio. HPD Patrol Division Head Lieutenant Donald Morton said he caught sight of a white Toyota Corolla around King's Gate Church and began to follow it. Once he determined it was likely the suspect vehicle, he cut on the blue lights. The car finally came to a stop near Clemmer Road where the, the Rockingham Police Department and Richmond County Sheriff's Office assisted. Police saying during the investigation, they learned that the 20-year-old alleged female victim had gone to Myrtle Beach with 37-year-old Darnell Morgan Jones and his uncle, 68-year-old Robert Mitchell Kinney. All three are from Dayton. According to officers, there was an altercation while they were in South Carolina and the men refused to let the woman out of the car, which was driven by Kinney. The two men were arrested in each charge with first-degree kidnapping. They were booked into the Richmond County Jail, where they remained early Wednesday evening, each under a $100,000 secure bond. A convicted felon were released from prison less than a month ago is wanted by two police departments for crimes committed earlier this month. The Hamlet Police Department has two outstanding warrants for 24-year-old Stefan Joulton Easternling of Buttercup Drive on larceny charges. According to police, Easternling attempted to use a stolen debit card to purchase two cartons of cigarettes from a store in Hamlet on August 4th before stealing them. According to the Rockingham Police Department, Easterling stole a 2016 Nissan Ultima from the parking lot of the Economy Motel. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is encouraged to call the police at either Hamlet or Rockingham or the Richmond County Crime Stoppers. The top two readers in the Hamlet Public Library's summer reading program Abby Hadinger and Haley Locklear finished more than a thousand books collectively in nine weeks. Hadinger read in the juvenile division, read 545 books, while Locklear in the youth adult division made it through 487. These two, along with other participants, were recognized at the annual awards and fun day. In all, there were 30 readers who were part of the summer program, 21 juveniles and nine young adults. They read a total of 6,353 books from June 1st to August 8th. Special prizes were awarded to the top readers in both categories, including a leap pad, a hoverboard, and a Chromebook. Librarian Belinda Norton is already preparing for the Wednesday morning story time program that will resume after the beginning of the 2019-2020 school year. Contact the staff at 910-582 3477 for further information. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today.
Your Line 5 weather report is brought to you today by RO Yellow. And as we move in for to uh, today's forecast, it's been pretty hot once again, but thunderstorms are kind of expected in the evening, especially around this time. Uh, but moving forward, there will be some more chances coming along. Well, about a 30% to 40% chance. Not uh, extreme, but it can still happen. Of course, you can see for tonight uh, with a cool 75 would be thunderstorms uh, predicted around that time. Taking a look at tomorrow's forecast, we've got a little bit scattered thunderstorms across the region. Uh, the eastern side looks like it's going to get hit with some rain. Uh, only about a 30% chance over there. Fayetteville's going to be a high 88, low of 74. Raper's going to be a high 88, low of 73. Then Lumberton's going to be a high 89 and low of 75. Warrenburg's going to be a high 88, low of 74. Southern Pine's going to be a high 88, low of 72. And as you can see on the uh, western side of Sand Hills, it's going to be partly cloudy skies. So uh, kind of straddling between Raper down to Bentonville, kind of that line of uh, thunderstorms and clouds kind of mixing together there. Um, Rockingham's going to be a high 89, low of 72. Elbury's going to be a high 88, low of 72. Uh, Waste will be a high 91 and a low of 73. And Bentonville's going to be a high 89 and a low of 74. Moving on to your Sunday forecast, uh, Friday's going to be a high 89, low of 72, part of cloudy skies. And then Saturday, we've got 4% chance of thunderstorms with a high 90, low of 72. Uh, Sunday's looking about the same, but 50% 50 50 chance of thunderstorms, high 90, low of 73. And then Monday, it's going to cool down just a little bit with a high of 87, low of 72. And a coin toss that day as well for the thunderstorm chances. Tuesday is going to be uh, roughly the same on uh, the chances, but a high of 87, low of 71. Then Wednesday will be a high of 90 with a low of 71. Only a 50% chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, but in the evening, there's no chance at all. Uh, Thursday is going to be partly cloudy skies with a high 91 and a low of 71. So as you can see, the, what we were expecting for Wednesday to be 100% chance of thunderstorms, it's now dropped to 50%. You know, with this being the summertime, uh, thunderstorms can come and go, and it's really, really difficult to see where they're going to pop up. But uh, right now, it's kind of looking like a coin toss once again for uh, the upcoming seven days. That's going to do it for your live 5 weather report. When we return, we've got more news and sports on the way. It's right after this. Low Tree Antiques and Gifts is an occasional shop located at 122 South Hancock Street in Rockingham. We are open the first weekend of each month, Thursday through Saturday. We strive to offer a unique selection of vintage, antique, handmade, and new goods. If you are looking for something out of the ordinary, then we're the place for you. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is passionate about helping you make your home or office space unique. We would love to see you during our next occasional shop dates. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. We are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete seven curricular programs entirely online, including our university transfer degree. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. With only two items on the agenda, Rockingham City Council members on Tuesday approved a resolution for a $20,000 grant and a purchase contract for two new sanitation trucks. According to Chief Bill Kelly, the grant will be used by the police department and purchase in-car laptops for patrol officers, update the in-car camera system, and for travel expenses. Prior to approving the council's approval of the purchase contract, City Manager Monty Crump explained that the city plans to buy two sanitation trucks from Carolina Environmental Systems, Inc. Crump said the purchase, which was included in the budget, is to replace two of the city's existing units, one being 23 years old and the other 17. The total cost for both units is $362,480 or 181,240 each, which meets the city's budget under 600. And a new season for the Richmond Senior High School volleyball team, 
The second year head coach, Ashley Larson, is looking to relaunch the program back to the top of the Sandhills Athletic Conference. As the Lady Raiders have trained hard over the summer in the weight room, on the volleyball court, and in the sand, Larson has set the bar no lower than winning the program's third conference title in the last four years. Richmond is returning eight players for a season ago, including four starters. Larson is entering her eighth year with the program, having served for six as the head JV coach and a varsity assistant. In what she called a rebuilding year last season, Larson and the Lady Raiders finished 13-9 overall with a 10-4 mark in SAC play that put Richmond in third place. But with the group and experience she has this fall, Larson believes her team can reclaim the top spot. The Lady Raiders will officially kick off the season at home on Tuesday, August 20th, when they welcome in non-conference opponent Anson High School. Dave will begin at 5 p.m., followed by Varsity. And that's going to do it for another edition of Live at 5. Be sure to stay up to date on all the latest in Richmond County by going to richmondobserver.com or by downloading the free owl app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Sarah Minks. Thanks for watching and good night, Richmond County.